Hello guys, this is Reza and welcome to our Python tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about strings. But what are the strings? The strings are a set of characters. They can be a word, a sentence, or even a whole book. Let's talk about strings in details using some examples. Imagine that you've got a phrase and a phrase contains a string. For example, vision academy you can see that in this string we have got capital characters and small characters and this string is made up of two different words with a space in the middle if we print this word as you know you will see this like here vision academy you could even use this string directly here and you would have the same results as you can see but we will prefer to put everything inside a variable and this variable contains this string from now on but we can do a lot of other things on the strings there are a lot of pre-built libraries to work on the strings which are available in python 3 imagine that on this string you wanted to write vision on one line and academy on another line you could use backslash n which is used for going to another line so in this way you will have vision on one line and academy on the next line let's run this code as you can see we have them on two different lines and there is one small space here and that space is the one we have got after backslash n you could also have backslash t backslash t means to go a tab forward you can see the results here we are going four spaces forward imagine that you wanted to put academy inside double quotations you cannot put academy like this inside double quotations this reason is that double quotation is a character which is reserved by Python in order to show starting and ending the strings. So if Python sees this double code here, it considers that the string is finished here. So your string was vision. In order to make Python understand that this double code is the real double code that I want to use inside my string, again, you use a backslash. So backslash is used for special characters, something like double code, backslash T, backslash N for special characters. If we run this code, you can see that Academy is put inside double codes. Let's get rid of these extra parts and talk about some other capabilities that we have on the strings. Imagine that we will have another phrase called phrase two and then we want to have phrase one and we want to add another string to phrase one we can do that by simply putting a plus and then adding another string for example is nice if we print this second word which is phrase two you can see that is nice with a space at first is concatenated to vision academy and then phrase 2 contains all the sentence if we run it you can see that first we printed phrase which is vision academy and then secondly we printed phrase 2 which is vision academy together with is nice there are also some functions that you can uh, implement on your strings what is function we will talk about that in our tutorial related to function just for now you have to keep in mind that function is a machine that takes something as an input does some action on it and then gives you back some values so consider a function as a machine and now we want to see which functions are available and pre-built in Python for the strings. One of them is len. You can print the number of characters that exist in phrase with the keyword len, which is a function, by passing a string as an input argument, which is inside the parenthesis, you can ask the length of this string. What is the length of a string? The number of characters inside a string. 
as you can see here in Vision Academy, we have one, two, three, four, five, six for Vision, and two, four, six, seven for Academy, 13, and one space, 14 characters are here. So len phrase should print 14 for us. As you can see, 14 is printed here. But there are also other pre-built libraries. For example, we can transform a string to lowercase. It is just enough to write lower. And then it will change all the characters into lowercase. Here we have got V and A as uppercases. But if we run this program, you can see that here V and A are also changed into lowercases. We could do the same by writing upper. In this way, everything will be changed to uppercase letters. As you can see here, Vision Academy is printed totally in uppercase. But what if you didn't want to just print this string in uppercases? You wanted to store it somewhere. So you could create another variable, for example, phrase upper, we'll call it. And then we will put phrase dot upper. Then we have everything in uppercase inside another variable. So as I told you, a function will return you something and the return value can be assigned into a variable. We can print this one now and you will see that we will have the same results here. Another thing that you need to know about strings is that in a string, all the characters can be accessed one by one by their indices. Index starts from zero. So V here in the Vision Academy has index zero. I has index one, S index two, I index three, and so on. So you can access each of them by their index. But how can we use this? If we print phrase zero like this in the brackets, you can write the index and then you can access index zero. If we run this program, you should see only a capital V. As you can see here, capital V is printed for you. So if we wanted to see Phrase three, it is zero, one, two, and three. This I is going to be printed on the screen. Let's check. I is printed. You can access index of a character or a substring inside a string. But how can you do that? By writing the name of string dot index. And then inside the index, you can write whatever. For example, I want to see uh, where capital A is. It returns seven, which means zero, one, two, three, four, five, space is six and seven. This is the index of capital A. If we wrote I here, it will return one for us because this i is one so the other i is not considered it is very important to notice that if you write index it searches inside your string and finds the first occurrence of this substring and returns the index of that imagine that we wanted to check for example academy what do you think it will return let's see seven again why because it starts from here it doesn't care where it goes it tries to find exactly this substring inside this string and as soon as it finds it it returns you the index of the first part or the first character of your substring which is seven here if you misspelled something and then you wanted to search for a c d e and why inside it because this substring doesn't exist here it will give you back an error as you can see it says substring not found so you have to be careful to search correctly in your string this is the way to find a substring inside a string 
Another useful thing that you can do is that you can replace some parts of your string with other strings or substrings. How can we do that? Imagine that in phrase two, we want to replace nice with, for example, not bad, like this. This function takes two input arguments. The first one is the substring that it is going to search for in your string and the second one is the one which is going to be replaced so it searches in phrase 2 which is vision academy is nice finds nice and replaces it with not bad let's run it to see vision academy is not bad you could change only one character for example we want to change all eyes to capital G let's run the program you can see that VGSGON Academy GSNGC so it has replaced all eyes with capital G there are also other methods available on the strings that you can use them for example if you write phrase or every string and you put a dot after that you can see the available methods that you can implement on this string as you can see here the list goes on in order to get the complete list you can go to python.org and see the complete list and their functionalities that was it about strings guys i think uh, we know now enough about strings if you've got any questions about the strings please ask me in the comments i will answer as soon as i can and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and encourage us to create more videos have fun and don't forget to practice